Before we get started, real quick, I want to say I recorded all of this and I ended up taking some of it out. It was a 10 minute video, I wanted to cut that down a little bit. Uh, cut out all the maps I've that we've already actually seen and that we know about and just cut out all that to give us the three new maps that were leaked completely. And that's all you'll be hearing in this video. Peace. Well, not peace. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, it's Ben AK Tapport, aka The Keem Star. Today I got something that is a little bit different from anything I've ever done. I'm going to be reporting on a leak for Battlefield 1. So let's get right into it. This is a few maps that have been leaked today. Some of them of course we have seen, some of them we haven't, and I'm going to go over them, explain what some of them are, and what some of them could be. Anyway, let's get into it. Alright, so Argon Forest. I'm not sure that's actually how it's pronounced. Wikipedia does not tell me, but anyway, this is going to be a long strip of forest. It, the forest in real life is near some Rocky Mountains. I don't know if we'll see that or if we'll more focus on like flat forest in this. Of course, this game will not be exactly historically accurate, so they could take liberties in that for the sake of balance or entertainment. Uh, anyway, it has not been officially announced on the Battlefield website, so past here, these will all be the cool leaks that everyone came for. It's a map we've seen previously uh, in some leaked images. It has never actually been officially announced, but some people have seen it, and that's what this image is. It's very reminiscent of Battlefield 3 mission Rock and a Hard Place, in which the opening of the mission sort of took place in a forest. That's what it reminds me of, at least. And it obviously seems to be a forest map, uh, which is something we've seen in Battlefield Bad Company 2, which was very fun, for example, and in the minor outskirts of Zavod 311 in Battlefield 4. Uh, I think this map is probably going to be one of the best. I'm looking very forward to it, especially in any modes that'll play sort of like Obliteration as we saw in Battlefield 4. Um, playing in environments like that where vehicles have a hard time moving around and infantry has a hard time just kind of setting up sights uh, and everyone kind of starts flanking each other. That makes for a very, very fun experience. There is a railway in this image, which could be a hint that the armored train is going to make an appearance, which I'm not a huge fan of, but it could just be an abandoned railway. Who knows? Anyway, that's it for this map. We'll go on to the next one. Next map we'll be looking at is Chateau. Now, that's not the official name yet. That's just what it was leaked with. This could be changing, or it could just stay this name. Personally, I think a lot of these maps appear to be named after real-life locations, so I think we'll probably see it take a name like that. I don't think they'll keep it as Chateau. Anyway, uh, this could be the one mentioned in a leak video made by someone on YouTube named Almighty Dak. He had a source that leaked some information to him, and one thing that the source had mentioned is huge is a map with a huge church in the middle, um, which could be this. Chateau means castle in French, but the individual leaking the information could have been misinformed, or they could have changed it away from a church just out of respect for, you know, religious folk, and uh, it might allow for some more interesting visuals, even though churches in Europe look really badass, and I would choose a badass-looking church over a badass-looking castle any day. Anyway, in this leaked image, we do see a bomber, which means some vehicles will probably be there. However, I think the main focus of the bomber will be to take out infantry, um, because there are things like artillery emplacements and arches that we can see here that I just don't think a tank would be able to maneuver through, because a lot of them are things that can't be destroyed using the destruction in this engine. However, for all I know, I could be totally wrong, and again, this could just be like a little tiny glimpse of the map, and this could just be like a little courtyard in a giant field. But who knows? Of course, this is all speculation, as I've said a million times already. We will just have to see in the full map. Anyway, let's go on to the next one. Now, this next map was just released with a question mark. I don't think anyone knows what it's actually called. So for this moment, I will just be referring to it as... Anyway, this image appears to be demonstrating the armored machine gunner that we saw in the original trailer. It has a burning church in the background, and it, but it could just be an angle of a map such as San Quentin Scar or Monograppa that we just haven't seen yet. Of course, uh, San Quentin Scar we've seen basically every inch of the map, but Monograppa we have not. Uh, it, it does look to sort of be that similar environment, very grassy and much like a field. But nine maps seems like a fair number of maps to be shown in the base game, which is what we see here. 
We already have confirmation that there's going to be a free map in December, so I'm willing to say that if any more maps were to get leaked or announced, this map would probably just be out of the count. I don't know, of course, if this map is actually officially basically confirmed to be in, but if it isn't, then my best bet would be that it's probably just a screenshot of another map that we have seen already, and we'll just have to see. Now, last but not least, we have a map that was leaked as Suez. Now, of course, these names are unconfirmed, they are unofficial, so they could be changing and probably will be. Although this one, Suez, I mean, it's an actual place, so it could just stay like that. Suez is a seaport city in northeastern Egypt, and the reason you probably all know Suez is because the main landmark of that city and probably of the map will be the Suez Canal which finished construction about 50 years before World War One, so it's definitely going to be in there. Uh, that's something I had to confirm because I thought, what if it was completed after World War One? But, I mean, a lot of these canals are so old. They've, they've been around for plenty of time. So, and we can see here, it looks like there is some water which could turn out to be the Suez Canal in this image. Of course, it's kind of low quality with just being shot off of a TV screen, but whatever. It's clearly a very flat, deserty map, which will very likely share a lot of similarities with Sinai Desert. And it looks like it'll very much focus on vehicle gameplay, similar to the maps we saw in China Rising in Battlefield 4. Anyway, that is all of this leak that I've got to give to you guys. I will keep my ears perked for any more, and be sure to upload that as well. This is a bit of a longer video, but I hope everyone has enjoyed it. I made sure to cut it down to the best parts, and because uh, who wants to hear about stuff we already know? Some of the other ones were just speculations, but I thought for now, the leaked ones are the most important to get out there. Uh, that would be the most interesting for you guys. Anyway, it's been Ben AK Tapport. Hope you enjoyed. Peace. How to weigh a soul swimming upstream Are there angels listening? What am I to do? I'm still in love with you